Nothing to stir up the imagination quite like a dark, ominous hole in the ground. Alright guys, well, welcome back to another video. I've been driving up this little road and uh, I'm gonna hike it the west rest of the way up. Uh, but if you'll notice, that, that's a pile of tailings, which means we got a mine. I got Bear with me today. Should we go? Alright, let's go Bear. Come on. Oh man. I'm sitting here dying and Bear's wandering all over the place without a care in the world. Going up and down this road like it ain't nothing. I don't know where he gets his energy. Maybe I ought to start eating kibbles and bits. I'm probably at about 7,000 feet though in elevation. <sighs> Looking up from below, I saw several shafts, or uh, not shafts, but sets of pilings. So I'm wondering if there aren't several shafts. We've got ourselves a mine. Goes back pretty far. I'm standing up in this mine, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, nothing to stir up the imagination quite like a dark, ominous hole in the ground. See that rock right there? I'm not going to tug on it, because that'd be dumb, but that's just the kind of place where rocks like those will gladly fall on your head. So careful. Oh dear. Oh dear, look at that. How stupid is this? in there. All right, I'm gonna go back. Oh, hello, bear. I'm gonna go back to that main shaft and see if it connects up with that hole so we don't have to go crawling where it's not safe. And if it doesn't, I'll consider coming back, but I'm fairly confident this just might connect. Or not. This doesn't look good. Every time I go into these mines, I have to think to myself, am I gonna find a box of dynamite? Oh my goodness, look how old this thing is getting. I hope you guys aren't claustrophobic. It's just not getting any taller. I hope I don't find dynamite. All right, guys, here we go. So, we're here. This right here is the room I was looking into. Oh, oh that's unsettling. Right over there is the hole I was looking into to get into this place, right where that M is. Boy, I don't know. I don't know how safe I feel in this place, guys. This is pretty sketchy. 
What do you think, Bear? Maybe we should keep going? For a little ways? Alright, just be quiet. Even the footfall of a person could set off vibrations enough to cause a cave-in. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be stupid if this whole thing were being held up by that? I mean, I know it's not, but still. <laughs> That's not a pleasant thought. Bear, if we meet another bear, I hope you run faster, slower than I do. Nothing personal. I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but I'm crouching. It may sound silly that I'm whispering to you, but still, I don't want to raise my voice too high, and I definitely do not want to touch that. Definitely. So... See, it's a dead end. No point in killing myself over that. But this way is looking kind of sketchy too. I mean, these, all this stuff didn't fall for nothing. Stay behind me, Bear. You know, oftentimes, these shafts, I don't remember what they're called, but they'll go up to connect to another horizontal shaft running above the, sh the, the shaft below. Other times, they're used to bring ventilation into the mine. Bear, stay. Sit. Bear, sit. Hey, sit! Of course. Go on, bear. Sit. Good boy. Now stay. One of us is gonna die. I'd rather it be me. To be totally honest. Guys, good thing this thing ends here. Cause it's starting to smell bad in the air. I don't know if it's guano, or however you say it, you know, bat poo, or if it's just bad air, but we gotta get out of here. Now this, by the way, is precisely why you wanna mark where you go. It would be so easy to get turned around and lost in one of the things. Oh, I feel better now. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting pretty hard to breathe in there. I'm looking at this in front of me. I'm not thinking it goes anywhere. I'm gonna check it out anyway. Because I'm stupid like that. Oh, we gotta be careful. Very. Very careful. I figured I could put a wide angle lens so you could 
see just how crouched it is in here. Oh crap. I'm sweating. Glasses creep sliding down. Getting an idea of what these guys did. Yeah, I'm not going any farther, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna stay here. Just give you an idea of what these guys, these old miners, did. Is it not always just <sighs> drill into a into a mountain in a single tunnel? Oftentimes, especially in coal mines, they'll dig the initial shaft, but then they'll go out and they'll just mine underneath the entire mountain. Kind of like the mines of Moria. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. If you've ever seen the Lord of the Rings movies, or the Hobbit movies for that matter, you'll notice in there that uh, oh. the, uh, the initial tunnel going in ends and it brand it opens up to where almost the entire underside of the mountain has been hollowed out. There, you're blocking the cave entrance. There we go. By the way, guys, can I just say that this flashlight I bought from Railback is a beast? <laughs> I mean, I have not changed batteries since I bought this. And I bought this back when I put uh, went to that first mine. I don't know what the model number is or anything like that, but this thing has been superb. And that on the end, <laughs> it's a, a homemade diffuser, basically what it is. As I just took the uh, bottom half of a Kool-Aid powder container and melted it onto the end of the light. It allows me to take it on and take it off, but I've just been super impressed. Oh my goodness. My back is killing me. It's kind of nice in here, though. I mean, aside from the imminent death that I'm facing, and all the dangers, it's actually quite cool in here on a hot day. Well, oh man, that was a doozy. I think it was cool, but as cool as it was, that scared me in there. I mean, the way those mines were, were weaving in and out of each other and that had all these openings, No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever want to work in a mine. Those of you who have worked in a mine, you have my respect. That takes a, a certain character to be able to stomach one of those day in and day out. Although I suppose if we're getting a lot of gold out of it, that would change things a little bit, but yeah. Oh. Well, thanks guys for joining me. I'm gonna explore those other mines there are any more up here and uh, if they're any good I'll bring you along for the ride so definitely join me on the next video <laughs> take care and uh, and uh, well just take care nothing to stir up the imagination quite like a dark ominous hole in the ground